This young Cameroonian is a man of few words. Humility is the one important character trait you would tap from him at the end of every conversation. Yet Peter and Josica's actions speak loudest and reveal him as a great visionary. This vision is undoubtedly to beam light on his country's young and growing film industry, which is generally said to be struggling to come out of oblivion. That light which will help the industry shine is Penjo's life dream. Penjo is the name the Yaoundé based filmmaker has adopted. At his Mendong audiovisual production studio, Penjo would spend the entire day behind a well adapted computer screen, cutting and pasting stuff shot on the field in a bid to produce a watchable movie, a documentary, sport, and what have you. Yet he would tell you he is still in the process of learning. Um, I'm a young filmmaker, a Cameroonian young filmmaker, who um, I believe, I believe strongly that um, learning is a process and I learn every day of my life. So when I meet people, when I meet um, people around, I believe, I strongly believe I learn from them a lot. And that's why I will always like to work with as many people as possible because I do believe that each and every one of us, each and every one of the people I've been working with, I've worked with, uh, they have so much something to offer and I hope, I pray, I get there. When he is not editing stuff in the studio, the producer of Bear War is on location, picking up images with the collaboration of crew members and cast. He will spend long hours and at times stay the night on location just to be able to have the most appropriate shots. Shooting also takes place in the studio and in the coming months, TV viewers will have the pleasure of savouring one of his shows. You're welcome once again to our viewers. Thank you for keeping a rendezvous with your TV program, Generation X. But we're going to know that after this break. Yay, yay, yay. Gratification for artists come in award ceremonies and for the filmmakers, the African Movie Academy Awards AMA tops the chart. But I met Pete on Facebook and when he approached me to be a presenter for his TV show, I was not very sure I could do it. But he encouraged me and I took that step and I must say it wasn't easy because I'm not used to working with the camera and all. But with him, I learned a lot. And I think the show is definitely going to be a sellout. Born in Kumbu, Bui Division of the Northwest region, Peter and Joseka is one of Cameroon's emerging filmmakers whose contribution to the development of the industry is worth noting. With five films, two TV documentaries and a spot to his credit, he still boils with ambition to produce more. However, he writes on slowly and carefully for the sake of good quality production. I believe in good quality productions and that's why I don't rush. And also that's why I always take my time and make sure I have a good quality before I release anything. Having acquired the necessary equipment, the producer of Nat Joyce's Whip settled that it was time to operate from a production outfit. That is how Penjo Entertainment Production was born. For one thing, the Yaoundé based film production company bothers more about good quality sound and images, perhaps the reason why its productions have generally been acclaimed within and out of the country. We decided to set up Penjo Entertainment Production Studio in order to bring in our own little contribution in the Cameroonian film industry and the entertainment as well. And that's why we try to do as much as possible to shoot on HD, full HD. And we shoot TV programs, talk shows, movies, documentaries, TV spots, and you name the rest. After a few productions, Penjo now believes strongly that his love for video production is growing from leaps and bounds. The good quality images he puts on screen is a great inspiration. With this, the young filmmaker quickly sees light at the end of the tunnel.
on screen. I have the impression that me and my collaborators are doing a great job. And I think, I believe we will get there soon. But how did this beautiful story begin? Tenju told us his love for pictures, was nursed from Life and Water Development Group Cameroon. This project you are seeing behind me is a pipeline project which is uh, being funded by Thirst Relief International. A non-governmental organization he created in 2003 to provide water points in rural areas in the country. Photos which he took to accompany his monthly reports were greatly appreciated by his partners, Thirst Relief International, who later thought the dynamic development agent needed more sophisticated cameras. They encouraged him with a performance steel camera. But the potential filmmaker went ahead to save money and later bought video equipment. That is how he started shooting stuff on his activities. Penjo, who jacks in everything and masters all of them, is also a cable news network, CNN Worldview News contributor from Cameroon. We leave you this week in the Central African nation of Cameroon. For one week recently, thousands of ENSO people gathered in Combo to celebrate their heritage. Our newest Worldview contributor, Penjo TV's Peter Njosaka, takes us there. His Royal Highness, the Phantom So, from Penjo Entertainment. This is Peter and Jessica reporting from Cameroon for CNN World View. I prepared a news package from Cameroon. That is, I shoot, I conduct interviews, I edit, and I package. Then I send, I send to the CNN for broadcasting. Father of two, three-year-old Mark Rodney Dinui and Noel Batinui, who is 12 months, Peter finds time off his busy schedule to play with his kids and shares a glass of Vimto with them. Vimto, little Macaroni told us, is his favorite drink. Good enough, Penjo owes his success to the Almighty God, from whom, according to the filmmaker, he receives abundant blessings. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, everything I do, I believe my strength comes from God, and that's why Whatever I do, I always pray to God and thank Him for everything He has been doing. Your evaluation of Berwo and constructive criticisms of the movie is definitely what He desires. What scholarship are you talking about? What is scholarship? Look at this one, oh. He called me old thing. There is always somebody with a problem greater than yours. Is that I'm not sexually active. You don't look at me like that because I'm not ready to let the cat out of the back. You have a cat in your bag. If this movie was going to be the only thing its producer would do as a filmmaker, Pete and Jessica would not mind. Barry Wall has been his lifetime dream, and that it has finally been realized. Penjo can now go to bed. I expected you to teach your daughter. Whether a girl or a boy, she has a right to her education. So you are passing by seeing your head that you cannot read. Hey, I beg, stop. Look at this one, oh. You call me old thing. The producer of the 90 minutes long film explains that Barry Wu would have seen the light of day several years back if not for the lack of adequate equipment. To him, good sound and image qualities are what such a movie deserves. So he had to wait for the right time to do the right thing. my body, will I be able to go to London? Will I be able to leave this village? After an auditioning exercise in Bamenda, Limbe and Kumbu, his hometown, Penjo, cast and crew set out for work in March this year amidst great expectation. Though the cast was almost entirely new, the producer took the risk of featuring these young artists who turned out to be an amazing team to work with. I didn't know that when I came, I said, you, 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 I'm not sure. I want to listen to all of this. I am, I am, I am, I am. Something, yes, something. Something not as bad as what put it in, yes. Scene 24, MCU of Barry in class, take one. Action. <laughs> the movie's main character, for instance, was replacing a predecessor who failed to turn up on location.
but she got acquainted on set, soaked herself up in the story, giving the producer and director every reason to believe in the discovery of new talent. I know, I'm 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 hard work. Maybe smarty. Maybe smarty. Maybe smarty. Where don't the director? That's what it happened. That's what it happened. And I guess the movie that goes into circulation as from January 2011 is shot on locations in Bambili and Bamenda in the northwest region of Cameroon. You know, HIV is a disease like any other. Doctor, please. There's only one question I want to ask you. What's that? Am I HIV positive? Directed by Akogri Damashus, who also doubles as the representative of AMA for Francophone Africa, this movie tells the story of a girl who gets scholarship to study in the UK but cannot do so due to circumstances beyond her control. <laughs> Not only is she deprived of the means to travel, our protagonist is raped, made pregnant and infected with the HIV virus. A consoling tablet is the creation of an NGO to combat the pandemic which she later did. But who is the rapist? Find out this and more startling revelations in Beru. Screenplayed by Tudin Di Natalie, featuring Beshu Mabel, Becky Mancho, Wantum John, Koti Alusius, and others. A soft drink. Because you are drinking and you are not paying me. Dad, please don't start. Haba. The landlord is not going to find this funny. Even the girls your age. Am I HIV positive or negative? Keep your lips sealed. 